Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I've got a journal that I just finished um, yesterday or last night, and I'd just like to share it with you. I hope that's not down. Okay. All right. Um, I call it my Rose Cottage. I should really call it my Rose Garden um, a journal. It's a junk journal, shabby chic style. And I've closed it with this chiffon uh, tie here, which will come with the um, journal. And I've used some vintage wedding um, uh, lace that I took off of a wedding dress. And I will show you all of that. This is one of my girls in my graphic collections that I show, that I sell on my Etsy shop. And the link will be below because this journal is available for purchase. But I thought it was real pretty. I got a pillow that had all this pretty um, roses on it. And so I took the pillow apart and I ruffled it. I just pleated it actually and used this for the bottom ruffle. And then this is um, lace that came off of a vintage very vintage wedding gown but it's so beautiful and it's ivory let me show you here let's see you probably can't see it real well with the white on white but um i don't have any more it was it was a limited amount that i i used and then what i did was i colored it with some ink so that you know it would just go along with the pink lace that i put on there and then these are um, rosebuds that I took off of another fabric. And then I have pink lace here. And here is this. I'll show you this. I love this. I only had a little bit of it. But this was off of that same wedding gown. You can see these match. And I only had a little bit of this. But look at the rose on here. Is that the back? Oh, that's not the right side. Here is the, the front, and it's so long and dangly, and there's so much I got out of there. I used some, just the rows, and then I would clip up the little roses, and I also colored them with ink when I wanted to, and that's what I did here. I used some pink ink, and then under this bow is part of that again, and you can see it repeated in this, this lace that they put on the gown. I just thought it was a beautiful gown. So anyways, that's the front and the back is plain so that when it sits down, it doesn't wobble. <laughs> um, it doesn't stay shut real well, but you have this chiffon uh, ribbon to close it with. And so when you open it, I have, I did, um, the other thing is I put the you know, the ins not the insulator, but the bubble stuff in here so that it, it would make a nice sound. Um, I don't know if you, you like that sound or not, but I, I kind of like it in, in journals. So it's um, squishy, you know, it's nice. Now there is a wrinkle here, and I believe in the back as well. No, just in the front. Because it has to close over a lot of things, so it's all paper in there. It's nothing's damaged. It's just the way the journal sits with everything that's in it. And so here's more of that fabric. And I made it into a pocket. And here's a couple. Oh dear, I'll have to fix that. Uh, rose tags that go inside there. I've got a lot of these. I love them. I can't remember who I bought them from, but I love them. And then what I did here was I stenciled with ink and I also used my Martha Stewart punch to punch this these two end pieces and then I just cut with my scissors a scallop. I didn't draw it or anything, I just cut it hoping <laughs> it would come out okay and of course this page wasn't together, I was just making it so it didn't matter if it didn't come out I'd just do it again or do something else. And this I believe is a um, a stamp from Lorna Taylor, tailor-made Taylor journals, or it could be Christina Hill on Etsy. So I apologize for not knowing which one it is, but I bought from both of them. I love their stamps. They did a very beautiful job, both of them. Okay, so when you come over here, you can see more 
of this lace. I just love this. And more of these roses. And this is, says, stop and smell the roses. And inside here is a little piece of paper that I stamped a, a cup on with roses. I think that's cute. Now, if I'd been thinking, I would have made this so that there was a pocket behind there. But I glued it down because I didn't want it to uh, wrinkle. You know, when, when you push things down, put things down, and you close the book, sometimes they get stuck and they fold over. So I didn't want that to happen. So I glued it back there, but here you can write up here. You can put a picture up here as well. And on this side, you can see I added this. Um, this is a paper that is uh, a specialty paper. It's very thick. And I added that along all of the uh, rose buds or the flower buds in this design. And over here, because I just think it gives it a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of prettiness. Okay, and then I had some uh, applique here, applique here, and I made a little um, scrappy pad here, and um, it is uh, stenciled with um, pink, so I did that. So you've got something to write on, and you can put a little label here if you want, and then there's some lace here. And then on this side is a flip up, and you can write in there. And I took some of that fabric with a little rose on it, and I inked it, and I put some pink um, lace underneath it and some pretty ribbon here. And now this page, I love this page. I think it is so pretty. Here's a rose that I cut off of here. And then I cut this little rose out, and I put it here. And then some rosebuds. And I also did a stenciling with modeling uh, paste first. And I inked that. And all these papers are hand dyed. I use beet juice. So there are some little bit of um, fibers in there from the beets. You can't get them out no matter what you do. And I just use strictly the juice. I don't have any beets in there at all. But somehow it's in there. And it just looks more handmade to me. So um, here again, I just cut some scallops and I added, um, did a Martha Stewart. And over here is some pretty tool that's just a little, um, uh, what do you call it, sparkly with some silver flecks in it and some more of the uh, shabby chic pink uh, buds, rose buds. And on this side of the page, I just put the one of the roses here. I did not color it. Um, I'm, I should have probably, but I didn't. And then here is uh, this cut down here again with the Martha Stewart um, punch. And then I did a pocket here with some more of that. And then a couple of tags that you can write on. And I added the, um, I inked up the, um, what you call it, rosebuds, fabric rosebuds. And here you can see some stenciling that I did behind the tag. So when you take the tag out, you can put in there anything you want, but it, it's really pretty when you, you take it out and you still have a design there. So you have that. And then over here, I embossed this paper with some roses. I love roses. And then I put a little bit of the trim up there. And when you open it up, what I did is I took one of these um, rose tags and I cut it in half. And I put one at the top and one at the bottom. And you can write a pretty little note in there, whatever you want. Put a little picture in there. Um, but I just thought it went along with the rose theme. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a rose theme. And this little tuck says blessed. It has some roses on it. And you have some pretty pink lace here with um, little uh, flowers going up it. I thought that was so nice. And it matched. And couple of rose tags that you can write on and put them in that tuck. And then I left a lot of uh, writing paper. Well, not a lot, but enough. And then over here is more of a feminine page. I die cut this high heel out of a die cut that I have and I added a little trim there. And I also cut this with the Martha Stewart punch. And I put some lace up here and a bow 
And then I, before I did all that, I did stencil, I did use some uh, molding paste here and stenciled on the flowers. You can't real, really see it real, you know, it doesn't jump out at you, but it, it, it is there. Almost looks embossed. I tried some new um, uh, modeling paste and I really don't like it. <laughs> and I kind of knew when I bought it I wasn't going to like it because I used the light and fluffy modeling paste from Amazon. And this was from Amazon too and there was more of it for the same price. And whenever that happens I'm always suspicious. And it was very thin no matter how much I put on it and it wasn't very white. I like it when it's nice and bright. If I want to tone it down, that's fine. But if I want to brighten it up and it's not, it's dull, then that's no good. So I won't be using that again, unfortunately. And then over here is another page with, again, on this side, the Martha Stewart. And uh, more of that fabric. And two more rose tags. I just love these tags. They're so pretty. I wanted this to be like all roses. I love roses. And when I found this material, I was so excited. And here is, uh, I just put a little tab with some applique underneath. And again, I punched out a Martha Stewart on each end. And I, well, you can see, you can't maybe see. <laughs> I cut a stencil, hoping every time it would come out right. And it did. It came out okay, you know. And then on this page is the other side of all of that. So more of uh, Martha Stewart and um, scallop and a, a lady under an applique. And this applique came from the same wedding, wedding dress. It was a different part. And this is also from that wedding dress. And then I put a, a mannequin picture here and you can open it up and you can write in here. And I um, just kind of fixed it up there. But you know, and then here's a button down here. I actually put more trim on here, and I just thought it was too busy. And I thought, well, you know, you've got all this trim here. So here you want to write, and I don't know. I just went with one button. I hope whoever gets it will like it. And more writing pages. And then over here I made my own mannequin tags. Um, this is a dress form that I purchased, and then I decorated with um, hanging glass beads and bows and tool and roses and so then I took a picture of it and I turned it into a tag and I made these um, uh, uh, rosebuds the fabric as their tab for it you can write on the back of them like that and this again is another part of that wedding wedding gown I just oh my goodness I was so blessed with all of that lace and trim that I got. And what I sold, I sold, but I kept a lot of it for me. And I will have appliques. I do have like some of this left from another wedding gown that I will be sharing on my Etsy site. But, you know, I didn't want to really ink this up. But then I said, well, you know, I inked up this. Maybe I should try. And I really liked it as I kept going. I did the photo, vintage photo, uh, uh, Tim Holtz. And then I added some pink, which I thought it, it turned out good. And then this specialty paper that I punched out. And it actually doesn't feel like paper. It's very thick. And um, these won't fall off and, and it won't shed anything. I don't like things that shed. And then I just inked up this page. I mean, you could write on it, you could do anything you want, but because I had big tags there, and I did put a heading kind of like up there, I didn't do anything else to that. And then here is another page, like one of the first ones I showed you up there. Let's see, where was it? Um, it's similar, but not this. This one, okay? But this one, I just put chiffon ribbon here. And I put some more of the trim. And then I did ink this up. I put a bow and I put the roses. So it's similar. The only thing different is the side thing. And I think that just makes for a really pretty page, you know. And if you wanted to put pictures, I mean, I think that would be beautiful to put a picture of uh, a young man, a little girl. <laughs> a young man, what the heck's wrong with me? This is a um, 
corset, you know, and so I don't think you'd want to put a young man's picture in there, but a little girl, or I was thinking a grandma, a mother, whatever, very, very pretty. And over here with the dress, you know, maybe a, a dress up occasion or write down a particular occasion. What the heck was that? Okay. Lint, um, actually probably chiffon findings here. Okay. And I did use the stencil cream here, stencil modeling, modeling paste. And then this is the center of the book. And I really enjoyed working on this. I always think the center of the book should look the best, you know. And so what I did was I die cut. These don't come off. I die cut these frames and then I cut out these girls. And then this is part of the wedding dress a trim that was on the bottom of the gown and I've got yards of it and I love it and inside I made pockets here I made these into pockets and I put these uh, tags in there so that you can write on the back of them you can whatever you could put a picture on the back of them too wouldn't that look nice to have somebody's picture here you could have more than one you know so that was my thought that this could be uh, a picture or a special note that you want to put in there. But for now, we want roses. So I put roses in there to keep it in the garden. we got to keep the garden theme going here. Okay, and both of these pages have been punched out with the Martha Stewart punch. And then I just cut these scallops and I inked them. Okay, and then over here we have on this side where all the Martha Stewart is, I added a die cut here that's pretty. And then I embossed this pocket and you've got some tags, more rose tags over here. And then up here you've got a tuck and I put some um, tags here, rose tags that can go right in there and a little rose stamp and more journaling pages. And this is a punched out page as well with my scallop. And you could put pictures there. You could put an invitation. You could put anything you want. And on this side, I didn't decorate it very much either because I just, I didn't want to keep repeating the same thing over and over. Maybe I should have. I don't know. But um, anyways, I did decorate this with the rose garden rose and a little frame here. And I love this paper. This is my own um, digital design. And I keep it just for me. <laughs> okay. And then here's some blank pages for journaling. And then over here is a rose tuck spot that I used from a die cut that I have. And rose tags like that. They just go in there nicely. Come on now. And then over here, I love this paper. And I thought it went really nice with these rose tags. So I put that there with a little bit of a trim here and there of a very light green heart trim. And then over here is more um, modeling paste that I stenciled roses on. And this, now this down here, what I first started doing was after I cut it out, I put a decorative paper underneath. And I, you know, that was the only one I did it to. And Really, I like it much better with it showing just by itself, not having to have paper underneath. But I still had done that, so I want to do it. Here's a kind of a shabby, scrappy notepad that goes there. And then this lady is attached to this tuck spot. And I put a little rose tag here to be written on. And then some more journaling space. And then some tags and another tuck spot. And then we come to the back and we have roses here and roses here. Uh-oh, <laughs> another one. Okay, I have to fix that. I can print more. <laughs> roses here. And I put the, um, the trim up there and some more of the, the trim from the wedding gown is here. And then trim from that fabric, that I, that pillow I took apart. And then this is just an applique that I have. It's a vintage, very vintage applique. And I was lucky enough to come into like 20 yards of it. 
and I probably never use it all up, but I, I like it because every now and then I've dyed it pink, I've dyed it brown, I've done all kinds of things with it. Every now and then I use it and it comes out, it comes perfect. And then here we are at the back. So there you go. Um, I haven't counted the pages, but I will when I list it. It is nine uh, tall and six inches wide this way. And inside the pages are five and a half by 11. No, no, five and a half by eight and a half. That's why this is nine and that's six. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I just thought I'd share this with you. And if you're interested and would love a, a lovely uh, rose journal, Shabby Chic, I'll be glad to uh, let you buy it in my shop. <laughs> so I hope you will stop over to my shop. I have some other things in there that might be of interest to you. And I thank you for stopping by my uh, channel. And I hope that if you like this video, you'll hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, that you will subscribe. Okay, thank you.